Water fire sharing is happening today. Organizers say there will be plenty to do in the city this afternoon leading up to the main event. First News reporter Hannah Erdman reports from downtown Sharon, getting you prepared for the event. Summertime here in the Shenango Valley means several different local events, but one we all know very well is downtown Sharon's water fire. Now this evening right here behind me, the Shenango River will be lit up with those orbs, a beautiful display, and organizers say they are super excited to have those thousands of people come out to enjoy it. They call it a can't miss event in the Shenango Valley each summer. It is water fire Sharon's 11th year entertaining guests with a beautiful show. But before the Shenango River is set ablaze, there are plenty of fun things to do in the afternoon and early evening. New this year, there will be a gaming plaza featuring fun games for everybody. At the gaming plaza, there's going to be lots of activities for young and old visitors to water fire. And with the Pennington Bank building down now, we have this beautiful grassy area that we will be using um, and having a drum circle in and some other activities as well as the children's activity tents. Now, if you do want to head out to Waterfire today, you will want to get here pretty early, but there are plenty of things to be doing throughout the afternoon before the Waterfire events really take place and the Shenango River is lit up. So there's something for the entire family to enjoy. And as the organizers tell me, they said come early so you can stay late. Reporting in downtown Sharon, Hannah Erdman, First News, Saturday morning. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.